My name is Raul Villases, and this is your Daily Edge. This week I had some deep conversations with some of my top clients, and here's some of the patterns that I realized that a lot of high-level businessmen have that they don't see. That the fastest way to create stress, the fastest way to be unhappy is to try to please everyone around you. Trust me, it's impossible. I've tried for years. We walk around trying to please our employees, trying to please our customers, trying to please our wives, and at the end, we end up blaming them when shit doesn't go our way. And why does this happen? Why is it that we constantly have this need to please everyone else and we forget that that's impossible? It all comes back to conditioning. One of our main drivers is the need to be accepted. We have this human need to be accepted, to be loved, to be connected. Since we're little kids, once we realize that we get loved and we become accepted by pleasing other people and bending our will and trying to please everyone else, we are conditioned in our minds to follow this pattern. So when we grow up and we become adults and then when you become a leader and you own a company, this pattern follows you. And all of a sudden, when you have to make decisions, you don't make decisions out of certainty, out of your core. You make decisions based on what will other people think? What will other people say? Are they going to like me? Are they going to accept me? Are they going to think that I'm a good leader or I'm a fraud? And that's that deep rooted conditioning that we have that we have to please everyone else in order for us to feel loved and connected, that we have to please everyone around you because if, they, if you don't please them, then they will walk away. See, brother, one of the things that I was able to, to do in my life is to break that pattern because I realized that that was just putting pressure in myself, unnecessary pressure to live a miserable life because it is impossible for you to please everyone else. Somebody's always gonna have something to say about you. Somebody's always gonna complain about your leadership, about your business, about the way that you talk, about the way that you act. And if you try to please everyone else, that's the fastest way for you to fail. So once I broke that pattern, realized that the one I have to please, the number one person I have to fulfill is me. And I know that might sound selfish, and I know it is not really what people teach in the leadership seminars and the leadership books, that it's all about the customers, it's all about other people, that you're last, but no, you need to feed yourself, you need to empower yourself, because if you empower yourself, then you have the power to feed others, then you have the power to love others, then you have the power to give to others, but if you're walking around half-ass, empty, and drained with energy, you're not good to your family, you're not good to your employees, you're not good to your customers. Once I realized that every single day I was responsible to take care of me. I was responsible to feed me. I was responsible to own my shit. To get stronger every single day. That in the past I will eat last. In the past I will give to others. And I'll wait until everybody was fed in order for me to feed myself. And that came into my workout. That came into my meditation. That was my work ethic. Everybody else t- is taken care of. I was last. I was able to break that pattern, realizing that if I don't get stronger every single day, if I don't prioritize me every single day, my family will suffer. My customers will suffer. My employees will suffer because I'm only as good as my ability and my capacity to take care of me first so I could help others. So you can't give what you don't have. If you don't have the energy, you can't give energy to others. If you don't have the capacity to lead, you can't lead others. Every single day, understand one thing. You're responsible for your own shit. You're responsible for your own actions and your own thoughts. And if every single day you start to think what will others think, what will others say, you're already lost. You're already lost. My intention for you, brothers, who listen to this audio is to realize that if you feed yourself, if you strengthen yourself, if you condition yourself every single day to do you, to make decisions based on what you want, not based on what you have to do, based on what you want to do, and take a step every single day towards progress. That's leadership. Because your wife, your employees, your customers, they need you to please them, but not for you to be a pleaser. As a matter of fact, that's the reason that most men have problems in their relationship, because they become a pleaser. And then you lose the polarity. Your wife loses the attraction for you. She loses that passion for you because you become a pleaser and you're not pleasing her. If you want to please others, give them the best version of who you are. That means strengthen yourself every single day so you can make decisions based on what you want to do, 
not based on what you have to do. Have an amazing day. Learn it, live it, experience it. Love life. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. And go to thenextlevelexperience.com to find the code to the edge.